fourth graders, I'm going to walk you through this week's melodic composition. Um, in your Google Class folder, you have a copy of the rubric that tells you all of the rules that you have to follow, and you'll find an assignment that looks just like this. Um, step one of the assignment is to copy the activities from last week's Hanging at Home Composition Worksheet into the gray boxes. So I went ahead and I did that. I went to my example and I copied the text from here and I put it into these boxes down here. And then I dragged the rhythm from right down here back up. Hopefully you made any changes that I gave you. Now our job is to create a melodic composition. So we're going to write the notes like A, B, C, D, E, F, G that go along with the uh, rhythm that we've already written here. It's a little bit confusing. Under each blue box, you're going to see four of these pinkish boxes. The reason that those boxes are there is that's where you're going to write in the pitches. If you have four eighth notes, you're going to write a pitch in all of these boxes. If you only have two notes up here, like two quarter notes, then that means I can leave two of the boxes blank. So the first thing I'm doing is going through and I'm saying, okay, ta ti ta, I don't have to put anything in that box. Since there's a quarter note there, this box is going to be empty. There's a quarter note here, so that one's going to be empty. And there's a quarter note here, so that one's going to be empty. And these will be empty because of the quarter note and the rest. So now all the boxes that are, em or that are empty still, I'm going to fill in with pitches. If you have your recorder at home, you could use that to play back your composition. But if you don't, I have put a xylophone up on Google Classroom, and it looks like this. Now, I know that since our composition's in G pentatonic, I'm not allowed to use any Cs or Fs. So the first thing I'm gonna do is turn off the Cs and Fs so that I don't get confused. I also know that the highest note I'm allowed to use is this one, so I'm gonna get rid of the high G and the high A. If you wanna have both screens on your computer at the same time, you can open them up in two different browsers and see I'm just gonna click this little window here so now I can look at the two side by side. I'm gonna move myself up there so I'm not in the way. Okay, so the first note has to be G, and the last note has to be G. Now I have lots of boxes that I can fill in. The rule for making a good composition is we want to move mostly by steps with a few skips. So I'm going to make the first measure all steps. I'm going to see what I think of G, A, B, A. Oops, A. And I'm going to play it over here. I like it so far. Let's see, after A, I have two notes for hiking. I'm gonna try B and D. The way I show it's high D is by putting this apostrophe right next to it. Let's see what we think of that. Works for me so far. Let's see, from that D, watching TV, I get to fill in four boxes in this. What if I try E, D, B, A? Each measure, I'm going to go back and play it to see if I like it so I can make changes. I like it so far. Uh, talk to friends, I get three notes. I'm going to try G, E, and D. Awesome, okay. I followed the rules. I started the first line on G. I have a note or a pitch for each of my rhythms, and I made sure that this line didn't end on G. Going on to the next line, maybe I'll try E, D, and G. See what I think of that. Go outside. I'm going to try ABA here. Since I know I like the first line, I'm just going to play back from here this time. And then I get three more notes. I'm going to see how a big jump from D to B to A works. I'll start right here at Play Music and play it back.
This composition follows all of the rules. My rhythms match the words. I started and ended on G. I made sure that my first line, this note right here, did not end on G. This is a great example of a four composition. Once you're done, you can turn it in. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. You can send me an email or you can leave comments in this assignment and I'll do everything that I can to help you. Happy composing.